in and also K Rock's radio out of Caspa, Wyoming, carrying us live today, which oh, is probably a mistake on their part. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're getting mean right about that. We need to cancel this asshole. Right? <laughs> 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 He's saying <ain't> crack. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we like got, uh, we got, we got cousin Chris in the building. Yeah, I'm back. The big star. I'm back. Forget about what you heard. Forget about ferrets and jello fights. He's back in the building. I'm open. And uh, <laughs> I'm open. We've got the calm. The calm. From Wichita, Kansas. The big yeah. stars. The stars of yeah. stage, stage and screen. They, they, they're like a grilled cheese in a Cadillac. Stylish but yet classy. They are uh, they are in the building today. And, uh, you want grilled cheese? I want a grilled cheese. Right? Yeah. Me too. Well, I'm so and hungry for grilled cheese. And a Cadillac. And of course, and of course, tonight at the Rusty Needle at seven o'clock, the Easily Unamused Road Show, and we've got uh, the comedians in studio. We've got Jay Gillespie. Where's Jay at? I'm over here. Jay's over there. There he is. And uh, Mike Hawkburns. Yeah, we got that. Bang. Should get that checked out. And uh, Daniel Robert Lewis. Yo. Sounds like an author. Sounds like a romance author or something. Uh, do you can get some rappers out there. And we've got rappers. Let's get some more. Look at that! Let's get some more. <laughs> it's the open door policy. We've got Tim Stone in the building as well. Oh, Look, at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We got, we got hip hop hooray in the building. Hip hop yeah. comics. Yeah. We now well, don't have to worry about Al Sharpton right, showing up and saying there's no <laughs> black people on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> we have service their needs. <laughs> hey, at least at least I don't have some chick from from Ghana getting a hold of me on Facebook today going, "Send me three hundred dollars. I want to come be with you, Jiggy." But um, it happened. Anyway, that did or that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there's enough princes running around over there. Go get some money from them. Right, man. But uh, we've got we, we've got uh, we've got comedy represented. We have local music represented, and we have a hip hop represented. I think we're covered. Yeah. I think we're covered. You just need a few more chairs, though. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't cover that, Jig. You didn't know. You didn't tell us we're offering party. up laps. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's not uh, WrestleMania. It's not WrestleMania. We're, 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 we're not, uh, not going to be kicked out. Yeah. Well, uh, no, we can get. What, 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 what are we doing? What? You're moving furniture. What? Yeah. Uh, get it situated, man. Let's all make sure we're situated, man. Situated. Now, um, let's see. Let's let let's. I'm totally thrown off. I was getting ready to tell the crack story. Dang it. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that later. We'll just do that later. Do that. I had I had an old girlfriend call me today, and she was talking to me on the phone, and she was high and drunk. And at one point, she's like, "Jiggy, you, I'm not the same girl you knew ten years ago. I do crack now." I'm like, oh my God. It was like it was like a Dave Chappelle sketch come to life. <laughs> oh, I guess you're crazy. But um, let's do this. I was I was getting ready to talk about the easily unamused road show. Uh, let's do this. Let's find. We got one mic there. Well, let's do this. How many people do you need to be on this show? I, it's a Sunday. That's what happens. <laughs> no, that's I've what happens here. here. I've seen like two people. people. Where is where is uh where, where, first of all where where is where is the promoter? I'm assuming this is the promoter. Yeah. What's up? How are you? Good. How are you? Thanks Pretty good, actually. <laughs> tell tell me. Up. You can you can you can sit down. You can move it. You can move it over the heck you want. He's gonna break something. He's gonna. You only have two feet. Though. I would bring the boys. You get paid tonight. <laughs> I'll bring the chair over. <laughs> Yeah. At some stage of the game, I have I have more wireless mics on order. It's just they're coming from Japan because I'm cheap. So it's coming. It's gonna happen. Well, tell me tell me a little bit about the show tonight, man. A little bit about the show. We uh, we're from Fort Collins, the Denver area. Uh, well, Dan's from lives in Denver, but a uh, bunch of comedians doing our thing out there. And uh, I I lived in Hutch for about six years before I moved out there, and so just. Bringing some guys out to do a comedy God, show. why the hell did you come back? 
You know? Uh, <laughs> that that, that, that should be over. his. That should be his question. <laughs> but, uh, go ahead. Now we were out at we did, we did Dodge City last night, and uh, yeah, just we got a lot of friends here still. And I want to see these guys. The, the guys we brought with us, pretty funny guys. So. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, how did you go about putting this show together at the Needle? Oh man. Uh, well, basically, I uh, just had a friend. Um, Messaged me on Facebook, love to see your act, and I said, "Well, hook me up with the bar, and I, we can definitely get a show together." So got uh, got Mike's phone number and bugged the hell out of him until he <laughs> finally put us up. So we're well, super cool. excited to be there. That's cool. Now, uh, Chris, what, what do you think of comedy and Hutch? You you you've had some mixed reactions to comedy and Hutch. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> The Just one compared to be uh, this is probably gonna more people here than at the bar tonight. The problem, <laughs> <laughs> the problem with comedy and hutch is there's two things that always happen. One of two things up. always happen. No, no, that's, no, that's that's in a different bar. But uh, two reactions. One, they sit there and they look at you like, make me laugh. Oh, we like that. Yeah, we're used to that. And it's like. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you have the attitude of I'm coming to the show to be entertained? Nope, not here. Huh? I, you should have the attitude I'm gonna go to the show and drink a lot because then that's <laughs> when we get that funnier when we get the more that they drink. So that's what we're hoping people are, are planning. You know, just to get completely plastered on their Sunday evening. Oh, huh. which yeah. what else is there to do really? Yeah. It is hot. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, I remember. The, the, <laughs> I remember. I remember. The other reaction is they show up and they want to, like, heckle and have conversations amongst themselves. They and want it's to be like, part of the show. That, too. Like, and, 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 like, a lot of these, like, and it's basically what it is, drunk blonde bitches well, show up to these hoes. loud mouth hoes. Tramps. The rappers know about the loud mouth hoes. You know you like them. <laughs> Loudmouth host provides you guys millions and millions of tracks. <laughs> <laughs> and one of these guys is from Salina, so he knows about all oh, the loudmouth hosts in Salina. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they show up and they want to be like part of the show. And if the comedians are like, we're up here doing our act and that's all we're going to do, they're like, I, I, I'm funny. I can be on stage. I'm funny. It's like shut the fuck up and watch a troll movie. I think show. these guys are probably welcome to that class and some interaction. I love pictures. Sure. Oh god. Right. Good. Go for it. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show y'all. Actually, I got a tattoo book of girls I've made cry that heck with me. Your mission is to make those trips cry tonight. Yeah, I don't keep track of how many women I've had sex with because I think that's chauvinistic and immature. But <laughs> <laughs> the women I've made cry now—that's it's worth tapping. <laughs> From the stage. From stage, yeah. From stage. Well, I, this one makes that old. they didn't necessarily cry <laughs> right there, but we all know later that we, they, they left. One girl, I didn't know, like yeah, storm out. You're so definitely crazy. crying. Hit a hit a personal note with her. Not really proud of it, but I kind of am. I would totally take it if somebody wants to be. belt. Somebody wants to be. <laughs> a belt like 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 Pooty Tang. Like Pooty Tang. Oh. Nobody knows that reference, but me and you. Now um, this the, the show tonight um, starts at seven. Yep. Loosely. Um, <laughs> Usually. Usually no. You're gonna throw off the plugs here. <laughs> well, it's a comedy show. It's a comedy show, of course. So, uh, what 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 do you guys have planned tonight? And what's? Uh, well, everybody just kind of does their. Everybody has their. It's a pretty eclectic group of comics that we we brought. Uh, Michael. Well, I'll, I'll open the show and I'll kind of do a little bit of time up front. But then uh, Mike's from Alabama, so he does his. Uh, Tell us people about Alabama. Uh, about Alabama. Real tight. And whenever I start talking about his set, I oh, just oh, sorry. default to the southern accent as well. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll be doing his Alabama material. Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about, you know. Handling snakes and... Snakes. It's <laughs> <laughs> my personal Limericks. Lyrics. Some poems. Lots of poetry. 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 Really more poet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
wrote this comedy. <laughs> just do comedy because it pays me. Yeah. And then uh, Jay Gillespie, uh, he's actually originally from Texas, does this thing in, in, in the Denver area too. He plays a drum machine. Drum and machine. Uh, wow. do you, call them you play a drum machine and we've got rappers. Holy crap, I just came up with an idea. <laughs> You're getting okay. lost. <laughs> <We didn't laughs> <know what you're laughs> How much, how much Lego material can you uh, rap about? <laughs> Lego, how much Lego material do you have? <laughs> I've got three or four tracks that just need a quick verse, 16 bars, you know, and we'll just make it happen. Let me jump in my bag. I think that I sounds great. Right. <laughs> you know you got that brick material. You just got to transition it into, you know, plastics. So. <laughs> that's, that's manageable. I can do that. All right. We're, 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 you're, see, we're making friends here. We're coming see, from Colorado. That's, that's what Colorado. we do here on the Jiggy Jaguar. We're crossing boundaries. <laughs> and then Dan's our headliner. Dan will be closing the show out. He'll do about four or five minutes. Brody. And uh, Dan loves. Uh, Dan will just interact with the crowd and he'll tell his jokes. But it'll be it'll be a great time. I'm now, sure. how, it doesn't matter. There's, there's five people there. We'll have five people. <laughs> They're all drunk wild girls. Counting bar <laughs> stuff. All blonde chicks. He'll make them cry. <laughs> get them. Get those tramps. <laughs> if it's a really bad crowd, I'm just going to walk them off before y'all even get out. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you got a plan going into it, we'll be fine. So how do, how do you comedians deal with hecklers? I'm sure you guys have your own little formulas. I'm just uh, loud. Yeah, Jay does. You're, you're going to be hard pressed to talk over anything I'm doing. Uh, I'm screaming curse words at you at the top oh of my, my voice with, with the drum machine going, and that's just the act. And so you really don't want to heckle it and get involved in that because wow. uh, you know it might turn on you. It's like a it's like a wild dog. <laughs> that's wow. awesome. Jay frightened a group of uh, you know people at a country club last night with his ex. So it was, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I, I talked to, you know, slaughter, slaughtering cows and stuff like that. The, the 50 and 60 year olds there were not digging it last night. I guess you back. He looks oh, like a young Huey Lewis. I don't know why. Well, you know, I do want to do drunk. Okay? Because the ones I'm doing are making me sick. Somebody else, too. You know, it looks like somebody else? Well, somebody else, baby. You know, just if Huey Lewis in the news all made love to who? But you could then get me. That's the question. <laughs> so, 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 so hecklers are not going to be a good time. They're scared of me in the first place. You just you don't want to get involved in, in something like that. that. Well, you know, you see, that's the kind of thing we're working with. Now, picture yourself as a 22-year-old blonde woman, and you're a, you're a 65-year-old white woman. And, uh, either way, you, you don't want to talk to me. And that's, not, that's what we're getting to. So. It doesn't do good. No, it just doesn't uh, help with them or me. Is that my con? Dan, yes. Yeah, Dan needs to talk about. We've got. We've got. We do, Dan. That's all right. The the blue one not you can bug. you can pick up from, from you all over take, the frickin' place. Take my spot. You're the closest right. now. Yeah, I uh, I don't I don't let I'll let someone yell and then we'll start having a conversation and uh, and it's, it'll go bad for them basically. Mm. They just have a conversation. It goes with them. bad. For them. Yeah, because nobody <laughs> wants to hear them yelling in the crowd. You know what I mean? My favorite was is when a girl heckles. I'll mess with them for a little bit, and then I'll tell them that I'm gonna fuck them later. And, uh, <laughs> God, 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 God. Go for the one. Luke Carpenter. Yeah, we're definitely fucking later. So just so you know, <laughs> it'll bring back on your side. I like so, welcome hecklers. I like it. It's that's easy. awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Because I'll uh, fuck with the guy that has the microphone because I'll talk louder than everyone else in the room. That's right. Sure. You talk you talk louder than everybody in the room. Mike got punched in the dick one time. I got punched in the dick on one stage. Time. Yeah, that's, <laughs> really? that's a proud moment. Yeah. <laughs> that's a proud moment. And then she like was this was a real drunk girl and they carried her out like as soon as it happened because they're like, This girl's way too drunk. Like, it was already obvious. She's accosting the entertainment. <laughs> so I didn't I didn't get to say she didn't approve of this Kardashian material. Yeah, I hadn't even she, done a joke yet. I had started this joke about the Kardashians and uh and then she punched me in the dick, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> punched me in the dick. It's like, there's no way she lacks the Kardashians that much. <laughs> she didn't even know the angle I was going to take. It could have been a pro-Kardashian joke for all she knew. Uh, but that girl, I've been she didn't told give it time. I've been told she's in jail now for, like, uh, like, stabbing, like stabbing one of her boys. Well, probably an ex-boyfriend. Well, I know they're still together. So can you date her? I might have dated her. She might have lived here three months ago. Who knows? But go. Michelle? 
was her name, Michelle. <laughs> I, I did date a Michelle at one time. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> I usually don't. We moved don't all the crap out of and, and stuck it on the curb on Christmas. But for hecklers, though. <laughs> um, I usually, I don't want to say I welcome him as Dan does. I usually prefer people to just listen to me. Um, <laughs> but uh, if it comes up, I usually ask them if they want to be a part of the show. And then I'll ask them if they're sure that they want to be a part of the show. <laughs> and the whole time, um, like I went to public schools in Alabama my whole life, so I, can, I don't know how to shit talk. So while I'm asking if they want to be a part of the show, I'm already kind of just go for clothes. Uh, first, the easy stuff, shoes. Um, they're dressed like a spice. Their wardrobe. <laughs> they're dressed like a spice. I mean, I just feel like it's people get offended pretty quickly and shut up if you start making fun of their clothes. Cause it's where'd you get that belt? Walmart. Yeah, especially girls. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's awesome. I default to childish hating on people. Basically. The show is tonight, 7 p.m. at the Rusty Needle, 1808 North Plum. It's over by the fairgrounds, and everybody knows where the hell the needle is. The easily unamused road show, sure and uh, we're we're gonna take a. Uh, actually, we're gonna do this. Calm. I want you guys to play another song if you're able to. Well, we only have the one, but <laughs> yeah, we can play it again. <laughs> we had to play more than one song. Yeah, we'll just do it in a different key, and I'll I'll, I'll do it in we'll Spanglish. We'll do it in a different key. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this one. This next one's called. Uh, this one's called Cock Punch.
was the inspiration behind that song? Michael getting punched in the cock. <laughs> yeah. We made it up on the spot. I mean, it just came to us. I was like, yeah. Normally, if I get hit in the cock, that's foreplay, baby. It's on. <laughs> that, 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 that and the shame of buying a belt at Walmart. It just, it just all came together. So. What can you do? What can you do? So uh, we, we've got comedians, we've got rappers, we've got the calm, and then we've got cousin Chris. It all it all makes for a fantastic, day, fantastic, day, fantastic day. Sunday. Day, and I don't know where Mike Game is. I think he got lost. He knows where you live. <laughs> he did a hood rat <laughs> on right there where the guy's sitting. He did a hood rat on that floor, so. so he knows where you live. Uh, Wait, which know. where? Right there, on that chair. Right next to that chair. That right there. That one's there. That spot right there. Whatever. You should be. Like, Look for the stains. Look like period blood right here. That's what I always You got two pairs of socks on. You're all right. You're all right. You beat her up real good. Or she didn't all right. Wrong time in the fucking month for that. Yeah, hey. That's hood rap for you. That's hood rap. So uh, the, let, let's let's focus back uh, once again on the on the comedians tonight. Seven o'clock at the Needle, the Easily Unamused Road Show. Why is it titled the Easily Unamused Road Show? Uh, that's the name of my podcast. Easily uh, Unamused with West Everybody plug that. Go ahead. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Chris. No, it's we part of the How to Be a, a Comedian uh, Starter Guide. Is first you have to get a podcast, then you go try to do comedy. And gotcha. Yeah, you just have to have one. I think. Check mark. Right what there. somebody told me. Your podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know. The hip hop guys, do you guys have podcasts? Nah. No. <laughs> nah. Nah. They're just out there. They're, 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 they're just, just banging some blonde. Some blonde somewhere. Smoking weed. Oh, no matter shit. what color her hair is. Amen. Amen. We'll we'll take we'll take him in we'll, we'll put him in the closet and bring him out for parties. <laughs> He'd be fun. Maybe now, you uh, never know. <laughs> you always gotta have that midget at a party. <laughs> that closet is full, man. So, uh, with what what has been the weirdest thing to ever happen to you guys on a comedy show? Besides getting punched. Yeah. Well, yeah. Punch yeah, 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 yeah that's that's the tell the dick punch story. <laughs> <laughs> Weird things has happened. Uh, people often think, uh, get asked a lot if, as a comedian, if um, 